Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to find a PDF of an article based on a citation. So you may have gotten a citation in your course syllabus or reading list, or perhaps you were doing research and an article you were interested in references a different citation that you would like to find. So we are going to go through three options for finding an article. The first option is copying the article title. So I've got the article title. This one is a little bit longer and it does have a subtitle. I'm going to do a search for that, but another option is to remove the subtitle if, if the article title is very, very long. Here we are. Our results list is showing up. Now you can see in bold um, in my results here, words in bold are sort of matching to what I have typed in in the, the, the title field here. Now the only reason I'm not going to go with this first result is that I can see it says view record at eScholarship. So this makes me think I actually can't access a, a PDF or the full text. So I'm going to ignore that one for a moment. But let's look at result number two. Our, our title here, if we need a reminder, is, is sort of matching up here. I'll move this above. So our, our titles are matching up for the article. Great. Below here, we've got all of the authors there were multiple of them so that that matches then we've got it says in developmental cognitive neuroscience that's a journal title our volume our pages and then our publication date and those all seem to be matching so i'm going to go down here and click full text from science direct to show you it should bring us to the article page here Ta-da, here it is, and we could scroll down and read this article if we were interested in it. So that's one way to find it. Now, perhaps for some reason, you know, our, this second result didn't come up and we couldn't access it here. There's a couple other ways to look for, for articles. Um, one of them is by looking for the journal itself. So we would go to the Articles and Databases tab here. I know it doesn't say journals, but bear with me. Over in this blue box, it says find a journal. So we can copy the journal title, search for the journal itself. So in this search results list, you'll notice it looks a bit different because we're just looking at journals, not specific articles or essays. Um, but this first result is the one that we're looking for. It's the exact wording. You can see the result number two says handbook of. Nope, don't want that. Result three an introduction. Nope, don't want that. So we're going to stick with result one. This seems to match what I've typed in. Now you can see um, if you minimize that, you can, if it's not showing you, click on the full text access. And I can see there's three different locations where I can find this journal online. One thing I want you to pay attention to is the dates. So this here says uh, you have access from 2014 to the current day whereas these are 2011 to present day. So you'd have to pay attention. And we know that our article was published, um, this says volume 16, and then in 2015. So you could click on any of these and it, you should be able to find it, but I, we kind of know it's in Science Direct because we already found it. So I'm going to click on that one. Science Direct is a pretty good database to look in. So this page here is all about the journal, right? Um, and that's great, but we don't want just about the journal. We know we're looking for a specific article. So you'll see over here, oops, why is this up here? There we go. Articles and issues. We can look at all issues because I'm not quite sure when the latest issue is. So let's click all. So these are all the issues. Of course, there's been content published in 2024, but we want to go back to 2015. Here, we'll click on this. And we know we also want volume 16. So we can click right here. Now, one other thing you may have to pay attention to is the page range. So I know our pages for this article are page 101 to 109. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. So it starts with page one. Okay, I'm going to scroll down even more until I get to pages 101, 109. These authors look familiar. This is my article I want to read. I'll click on the title and then it brings me to have access to the study, which is what I'm looking for. Now, if for some reason this doesn't work, if looking for the title of the article doesn't work, there's one sort of uh, last resort you can try, and that is the DOI, which you also should get from your citation here. I'm going to put it in the search box and click find it. 
Now this is sort of the third and last resort. I don't find it as a good of a search as our other searches. So what you'll notice, um, only seven results come up, but it's not in the top, the top three. Now you might think, oh, this didn't work at all. It did, it just brought the article we're looking for up as result number six. Um, and again, I could check the title, could check, you know, all of these details and click on full text from Science Direct. Um, oops. Da, 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 da. Sometimes this happens. Redirecting and here is our is our article. So it's just not, um, I, I don't seem to find my, the article I'm looking for ever comes up sort of quickly, whereas our title searches, uh, you notice were a lot more, um, you know, results one and two were here when I did a search for the article title. So that's how you can find articles if you have the citations. All right, we'll see you in the next video.